God says and I have to say what he said. Not how CNN says it. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right now. Some people ain't going to come back to church, but it's all right. <laughs> I'm talking about a rib and a man. Uh-huh. Read on. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bone. Now listen what, what Adam said. Never would have had a chance to do this. This is unisex. Uh -huh. He said, this is now bone of my bone. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And flesh of my flesh. And flesh of, in other words, this, come, this was extracted from me. This is from me, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Read on. She shall be called woman. She, and then called her a what? A, she, woman. A he. What did he call her, a he? No. Oh, forgive she. me, Jesus. I'm sorry. Jesus. <laughs> what, what does the scripture say? He called her a what? A she. A she. Hallelujah. Read on. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Because she was taken out from a man. Read on. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Two distinct things, completely different from each other, but yet working together as one. Clap your hands and say yes. Amen. Y'all don't get what I'm saying, do you? Y'all thought pastor just leave because where is he going with that message? I don't understand what he's trying to say. <laughs> Two distinct things operating separate, but yet as one. It says this about marriage. It says, read that last verse again, Irene. Therefore shall a man leave his father. Now stop right there. Therefore shall a man, it gave a few instructions. Therefore, Shall a man leave his father and his mother? Why, Lord, did you tell the person that gets into a marital relationship to leave your father and your mother? Why, Lord? I don't understand this. Lord is discriminating against family. <laughs> he said, when you get married, when you come together, he said, leave. Now, the word leave in the Hebrew means azab, translated in etymology, word meaning in the Hebrew. When they originally wrote this, leave means to leave, to loose, to forsake, to depart, to leave behind, to let alone, to let go. Amen. When you come together as man and wife, leave. Mama and daddy. Why? One translation says this. It says, the man has to bond with the woman. And the woman has to bond with the man. You cannot bond with anybody if everybody... <laughs> Let me leave. <laughs> you, you can't bond. I'm talking about the early stages of your relationship. Uh -huh. I mean, it's nice to have it, but I'm saying, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. you can't bond like you need to. Uh -huh. All right? Yeah. Amen. So, the thing is, is that some men, you talk about using the man's example, mm -hmm. they ain't mama's boys. Uh huh. Some men won't even leave mama and daddy's home. As a matter of fact, they ain't even gonna leave him. If you come with them, you coming with me and mama and daddy. Yeah, yeah. But the bonding process of their relationship has to happen between two distinct people. Not three, not four, not mama, daddy, and you and him. No, no, no. The bonding. You never grow together if you never get to know that person alone. Yeah. Now there's things you you know you you, you know things you learn from people by going on a date, uh, you know, doing a little kissing, you know, hugging. You know, I ain't gonna use the worldly song, but anyway. <laughs> but I'm just saying, there's things you learn from a person from talking on the phone for hours and all. But I'm saying, when you live in the house uh -huh. with that person. Yeah. 
and you experience them on a day-to-day -day basis, at least not always having family, you know what I'm saying, around, you learn things. Amen. Clap your hands, this kid. You learn things. Y'all don't think God is right? Y'all said, pass that the one preaching that message. No, God said it in the beginning. Amen. He said, if a man and woman, he said, leave your father and mother. Now he's talking about you need to bond. That's all. Y'all need to bond. It's nice you bonding with the family, mm -hmm. but you need to bond with the person on a whole nother level. Yeah. How I seen First Lady when I first met her and how I see her now, I see a whole... <laughs> Make it plain. I'm just saying, same with me. The thing that when she first seen me, nice in that suit, doing autographs, looking at my website. <laughs> but when I'm in the house, Y'all don't like what I'm talking about. Preach. Look, if Elder had to drink some water, <laughs> he back to drinking water. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm just saying, it's just different. Amen. Y'all get what Amen. I'm saying? I'm Amen. not trying to, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm just saying, think about it. Go ahead, go ahead. Think go about go ahead. why God said, y'all need to clean. <laughs> <laughs> because you might see some things that you didn't see when you were courting. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. Amen. You know, with each other. Amen. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You may see some things, mm -hmm. and so you got to work through stuff. <laughs> and so in order to stay together, it's what you can work through that you didn't see. Amen. Y'all get what I'm talking about? Amen. It's the stuff that you did not see in the beginning. Amen. Make it plain. I'm talking about two distinct people Amen. working together. <laughs> and y'all don't like what Pastor said. I'm going I'm to I'm shut the Bible. I'm not going over. No y'all don't get what I'm saying. Y'all yeah. don't, don't get it. Y'all don't get it. Amen. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Two things working together, together. as one. All right. So it says, this is the NIV of this scripture. It says, that is why a man leaves his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife. Excuse me, that's not it. Um, that's King James. NIV is what I want to read. Therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and shall... Uh, I don't know why I keep reading it. Okay. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and unites with his wife to become a new family. See, when you first get married, you have to become a family unit within a family. If you got family around you, it's okay but y'all, the two, got to become a family Amen. too. Amen. And some folk get into relationship situations where the family overshadows the bonding of y'all creating a family. And sooner or later, you grow apart because you never bonded. Yes. You bonded with the family, but you didn't bond as a family. Amen. So the word cleave in the Hebrew, in my closing, it says, cleave means to cleave. Look at what it said. Reread read that again, Irene, that 24th verse. Last time. Therefore shall a man leave. Therefore, himself. look at instructions to the man. Therefore, it's first to the man to do it. Therefore shall a man do what? Leave his father and his mother. Leave them. In other words, you need moments <laughs> together. No, well, it's not him, me, mama, daddy, that's good. Ain't nothing wrong with knowing the family. But you got to buy that as a family yourself. Amen. Amen. And that's the, way, that's the way you stand strong in a relationship. You know? Read on. And shall cleave unto his wife. Now listen. Shall do what to his wife? Cleave. Shall do what? Cleave. Make love to his wife. Shall do what? <laughs> now, let me see if you got this right because this may be twisted up in now, he shall do what with his wife? Cleave. Make love. Is that what it says? No. You sure it don't say he should make love to his wife? Cleave. It said he shall cleave, cleave. to his wife. <laughs> now, I ain't saying he should do that, but I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but what I am saying is, you need to bond. Yeah. You need to be together and interact on a personal level with each other. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Amen. All right. Now, cleave means this. It means to clean, 
stick, stay with his wife. Watch this. Translate in the Hebrew. It means to be, to keep close, to stick to, to join, to catch, to join together. Most men say, baby, you better catch me. No, the Bible said the man needs to catch me. <laughs> Clean to her. <laughs> Y'all don't give it a mind. But I got too much pride to run after her. Run! <laughs> if she get mad, baby, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> Let's stay together. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He didn't say the woman to do it. Uh, Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. All right. So anyway, praise the Lord. Now, in other words, where Satan comes in is. Mark 3 and 25. Now go to Mark, the third chapter, and the 25th verse, and I'm closing. I'm going over my time, so I, I got to let y'all go so y'all can go home and enjoy that food. I know, I know y'all not having a good time, so I'm going to close now. I'm going to close on you. Mark 3 and 25. Mark 3 and 25. All right. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Now, Jesus said, if a house mm -hmm. is divided against itself, he said it will not stand. If you divide it, you will not stand. In other words, let's just say it like this. Everybody ain't on the same page. Mm -hmm. In other words, you got two eyeballs. Mm -hmm. One eye is seeing their way. And the other eye is seeing their way, and you marry. Instead of doing it like God said, you got two eyes, but on the back of the brain, you come together and unify, and you both on the same page. But you got one over here, I see it my way. Him over here, I see it my way. It's nothing wrong with separate views, and it's nothing wrong with seeing two, two eyes. But when it gets on the back of the brain, it has you have to come together and agree with one another. So you're both on the same page. Amen. All right. Jesus said a house divided cannot stand. Let's go to Genesis 3 and 1. This is my closing scripture. I can't even get to this because I'll be going too far over time. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye hath God said... Now remember, God said for them to be one, right? Mm -hmm. The serpent came in to disturb the oneness of two operating together as one. He's always going to do it. Amen. There's always going to be the outside coming in saying, you know what? All right? Two. What, is, what did the serpent say? Yea, hath God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Mm -hmm. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Now, now stop right there, and I'm going to close on this note, and we have to continue next week. But this is what the devil was doing. What Satan was doing was discussing, having a discussion with Eve about the rules of the house. The rules had already come from the priest of the house, who was Adam, all right? And Adam shared it with Eve. They both came into agreement with God. This is the way we ought to do it. Now, the serpent comes in with new rules. He's discussing rules of the house with Eve. He said, oh, it don't have to be like that. Now, two eyeballs... Seeing together as one on the back of the in agreement, but he comes as another eye and says, that ain't so. He comes with a new revelation. Yeah. So don't always be shocked by revelation. <gasps> I see something. I said, first lady, you couldn't wake up in a cold night sweat. Don't, don't, tell, don't tell me nothing that God's telling us to separate because that ain't God. No, I'm going <laughs> to say, is, is the serpent talking to you? <laughs> Come on now! The Lord ain't going to wake me up and say, leave for No, let me leave. But anyway, 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 I'm closing. We done gone too far. We done gone too far. Everybody bow your head. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you, Lord, for your word. 
Father, we thank you for everyone that's here. Father, we ask that you take this word and just bless, minister to each one of us in whatever way, Father, you would speak this word to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.